on the road, yep, back again. Another week, another game of football to go and watch. Normality, eh? Love it. Oh, Smithy boy. There's a really annoying orangey-brown dot on the camera lens at the moment. Hopefully, we can remove that later on. But for now, it's going to join us for the journey, so let's embrace it. And that journey today takes us to the Midlands, Coventry City to be exact. More on them in a bit. But before we get into it, did you see last week? <laughs> Yeah, we kicked off this season at AFC Wimbledon. Absolute scenes down there, wasn't there? Let's see who stopped by to show some love. It's the top comments of the week. Need to make that into a jingle or something. Any musicians out there, let me know. Right, who we got? The Shrew, 88, rocking a Premier League trophy there. He's a member. Link to become a member is in the description below. But yep, the best football series ever is back again. He's also looking forward to his visit to Plough Lane. I think a lot of teams in League One are looking forward to their visit to Plough Lane. So, yeah, enjoy it. Salop. You know on the road is also educational, don't you? Let's have a look. Uh, Shrewsbury Town often referred to simply as Town, or the Blues. Another nickname is Salop. A colloquation, I never heard that word before. Taken from the Latin inscription on the county banner, Flori Salipa. Salapia. Salip, Salapia. Salip, oh God. Meaning, let's Salap, what? What does this mean? <laughs> Next, Chris P tuned in, didn't he? He says, everything is returning to normal. 10K likes, here we come. Well, I think it's a long way off, Chris. But hopefully with momentum and these videos coming back, we can get to those heights again, you know? I'll confirm the like target in a minute, but the top comment of the week, it was from Callum Parry. He said, on the road yet, back again is a better phrase than Romano's, here we go. Fact. Let's settle this debate. Twitter? Sure, let's go. I just set up a quick one hour poll. I think the results speak for themselves. Callum was right. Story checks out. It's the top comments of the week. Want to get your comment in the video? Make it a top one, and it might just happen. So that was last week. Just quickly, that video got 7,000 likes at the time of recording this. It could get more, but we're going to up it from here. 7,500 likes, please. If you enjoy the content, you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like. It really does help out. And of course, if you didn't check out last week's video, it was a banger. Go and check it out. Love you, K. Thanks. Bye. So as you can see from the sign on the left, you can't see that at all. Sorry. Basically, the bloody A13 shot. So we're going to have to go the back back way. Whilst we do that, let me tell you about today. We're going to name Coventry City, who were founded in 1883. They currently find themselves in the championship where they play their football out of the Coventry Building Society Arena, but let's call it the Rico, which has a total capacity of 32,609. So, it's worth noting most people go the back way. I go the back back way, but it looks like a lot of people have actually cottoned on to this. Maybe I shouldn't have given away my secrets in these videos. Let's be honest, no one goes the back back way. Something's going on. Maybe this is what was holding up the traffic. It could be Clive's daughter, but she is running risks. She definitely didn't pass her cycling proficiency test. No helmet, no reflective gear. A heavy load on the front is always a risk to run, but she is clearly running that risk. And quite frankly, I fear for her safety. If you want my advice, let's start at the top. Helmet, get it. In terms of clothing, maybe something a bit brighter, like a yellow jersey. And that heavy load on the front, maybe transfer to the back. What is going on? Exactly like that. Take note, Clive's daughter. Take note. Halfway through the back back way and we're... This is, this is ridiculous. Let me spare you the standstill traffic and uh, let's just get to... Christ! The old man are in it. I moved out. I'm a big boy. I set sail. I take goodbye to my friends and my family. I had kids. I got a beer belly despite not drinking beer. I got more grey hair than I'd like. But I'm still here making YouTube videos with my cat backwards. Don't grow up. That's what Peter Pan said at least. I did like Peter Pan actually. Hook. Good film. Love it. Was I sad about Rufio? Of course I was. Of course I was. But don't let that distract me from realising that I've gone through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through apart from myself, the car in front and the car in front of that, and this one waiting on the other side. For two weeks running now. A green light. Beyonce is on our side. It's full steam ahead as we arrive at the complex to pick up our co-host for today. Hello. Hey, yeah. It's this moment I realised that I forgot the stickers. <laughs> We then decide as we go past the best supermarket in the UK. I'd rather stop in en route, let's just get everything out of the way now, fill up the petrol, get the food, go, go, go. And here we are at the Morrison's pump. If Audi had a pump, we'd be there. We'd be pumping. We'd be grabbing extra value sandwiches and Professor Pepe for days. First job, fill up with dirty diesel. I need to change that. New car needed. Electric? Maybe. 50 quid? Yeah, okay. 50 pound 37 on the diesel. As a walk-in, Charlie's getting energised with a coffee. I then grab the greatest sandwich known to man. Come at me. Followed by the real stuff, of course, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> And then to complete the look, I need some mini cheddars, but they don't appear to have any. Pringles, sour cream and onion, yeah, yeah, let's do it. I was kind enough to buy Charlie's coffee as well, so that all came to £6.90. I think it's time we got going, don't you? Home to the M25, the big bad boy M25. It's raining, and due to traffic, we're cutting it fine. We're going to be there 20 minutes before kickoff. That, I mean, that'll do, but this won't. It just won't do. Time is ticking. I mean, it gets even worse when we realise the M1's just as bad, if not worse. Look at it, we're not even physically on it yet. We're trying to merge on. But then a beacon of light, the gods have spoken. National speed limit. Let's go! Let's go! Don't forget, this is the M1. Have for crying out loud! For Pete's sake! Consider going billing Aquadrome. In fact, sod it. Let's do this. Let's go. No, cancel those plans. Satis Navius has given us a shortcut. Look at the M1 piling up, gridlocked. We're going to go round and we'll join it further up, hopefully, where the traffic's flowing. But <laughs> the shortcut's just as bad. And then, just as frustrated as us, is the boy racer next to us. We shared a moment, though. Are you annoyed, yeah? Yeah. Should we scream? Yeah. Ah! 
<laughs> Eventually, the shortcut worked, though. We merged back onto the M1. Was it worth it? No. We're absolutely screwed. Well, that's some good news. First signs for Coventry. And I'm a huge fan of these. So this is it. The slip road off. Let's do this. Now, we're actually heading towards Coventry Welsh Rugby Club right now. I popped in the postcode and it's taken us to a dead end. I don't know where this place supposedly is, but um, yeah, we're just going to walk from here. Oh, maybe it was that. I don't know, but we wouldn't have got there. And even better, we didn't have to pay for anything. Bonus! Finally, we arrive at the ground as we head over this bridge. Try and work out where the hell we're sitting. Now, I eventually found the entrance to this gap. It cost £25 to get in. <laughs> there, boop! There are the heavenly stairs, but first we need food. We're starving. Want to get some street food and drink? Or maybe a pie and a, a water, because you don't do Dr Pepper. That's £6 spent. Charlie up to for a beer, so we can't go in the ground. Currently outside the toilets. So we've got the next best thing. Jeffy's keeping us updated. And after all that, we eventually get into the ground. Back row, thank you very much. I like back rows. Considering all the faffing around 14 minutes late, I think that's quite good. Plus, we haven't missed anything. It's Neil Neil versus Reading. This hoodie gets about, doesn't it? I'm genuinely going to buy their new stuff, though. It looks good. But first up is pie. The first chance we're witnessing today is from Cov, from way downtown. <laughs> I made a bit of a mess, but update on pie. It's actually really nice. I wonder what Charlie thinks. Yeah, I think he likes it. As did I. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Justice for Stews is definitely a thing at the Rico Arena. Lovely to see. They're getting a right eyeful. I feel like I should have known this, but wasps play at the Rico Arena too. It's a ground share. Rugby. Yeah, I should have known that. I really should have. So let's have a little look around. Giant screen down there. Lovely to see. You've got the Reading fans behind the goal. The stand opposite is housing quite a few people, plus sub benches, of course. Clap your hands if you love the on the road series. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Etcher joins all the way around like a tissue box. Box 12, 13, and 14 is where the uh, atmosphere is in the corner there. There's loads of seats there, but when I try booking, nothing available. So we're stuck up here with all the peasants. Yep, you too, mate. Leg room at the Rico arena is economy at best. This is in fact the only way to get around it. Gareth down in front, we've got his raincoat. Now he's unsuccessfully wrapped up like the sandwich I used to eat in primary school. Clean field for days. Couple of rows ahead, Sandra dressed to impress. Football at three. Social club at seven. Been a bit of a dull start, but the crowd are upbeat somewhat. <laughs> There was another chant going on, which we did our best to sort of sing along to. Just to confirm, tonight at 7, Sandra will not be in the social club alone. This is Gavin. They're walking arm in arm as they order a beer, a rosé, and a packet of crisps to share. Flag girth check. Decent. Real decent. Good girth on that. No chipolatas in sight. Behind the goal, they will fight. Till the end, they call them the Royals. Listen, didn't really rate the atmosphere when we went. When it comes to the away fans, they're the hardcore, but at the moment, they're not really saying much. Down the other end, Coventry go from Barcelona to Burnley in two seconds. <laughs> Should have been one, could have been one. Score stays nil nil. Or does it? <laughs> That's a penalty. We said the away fans weren't making much noise. Now's an excuse for him to make a noise. <laughs> No pyro, no party, eh, Reading? No arguments about today's Lino being a human ruler. Look at him. Straight as a... Well, ruler. If I was the keeper, I'd say shoot on sight. Keeper is well off his line. Instead, the tactic is P-rollers inside the box. Thanks, <laughs> Coventry. have really sorted out the ball, boys. Comfy chairs instead of those black plastic stools that fold away. These could well be those chairs that you get at a wedding before they put the covers on it. I think they actually charge about a five or a cover. If you like red, just leave them off. So 45 minutes on the clock and it's 1-0 to the... Just want to confirm, they definitely have gone all right on the red chairs. It's not just this side. Looks like it's that time, isn't it? Lads, 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 get down there. Get your points in. Because that, my friends, is half time. <laughs> of course, we have to thank the grand staff out there for keeping the beautiful game look beautiful. It's a lovely little surface. Honestly, son, I don't think it was a penalty. Yeah, it was a penalty. Yeah, it was. Update on the day. It's uh, it's going well so far. Not much said. Uh, selfie? Yeah, why not? If I'm going to critique anything, it's the sound system here at Cov. It's, it's not great. <laughs> Sounds like it's being played underwater. Classic highlights now. Peter and Love. What a player. Felt like every time he got it on target, it went in. Oh. Me and Charlie decided that we're still hungry. Another pie? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. To this day, I still struggle to get internet in stadiums. I just noticed I've got a ladder in my jeans. It's time for a new pair, surely. No, I reckon I have to hold out for another year. Anyway, Charlie's back. Uh, too busy down there, he said. Calling all shirt enthusiasts. Does this annoy you? This shirt is asking for a number to be thrown onto it. It's not Terry's fault. He bought the shirt. It came with the box. And in a way, good for him. He's put his foot down and he said, no. No, I won't put a printed number on the back. I'm 49 years old. Yeah, 49. You could put 49 in the box, Terry. No. We addressed the elephant in the room earlier. The elephant is now in the room. Back in the stand, Brian's chomping down that pie that could really do with another pie. We're going to go in a bit. Oh, my internet's working. Callum Sky Blue Zone has said we best get five-star atmosphere. Maybe not right now. They're going to have to up it a bit as Coventry make their way out, darting through some cones. Those cones actually marked out as a decent-sized pitch for a toddler and or Charlie. I can confirm the Lino has just double-checked that there's no holes in the net. Pff, mate, there's plenty. With the game having kicked off, Charlie's going to risk it and uh, go and get another pie or two. Shall I do that? Yeah. Do fancy it. Crazy. He's gone. He could be missing goals to cure our hunger. A true soldier. He really is. I actually just took a photo of the football. It says 1-0 to Reading. Hopefully it'll improve for the home side and uh, I'll put that one up instead. In other news, Charlie's just spent £8.20 on my card on two pies, but it came to £9 last time. Maybe they're cheaper in the second half. I don't know. Back in the game, Reading trying to double their lead. <laughs> 
Meanwhile, a lovely thing down there. Dad taking his son to the football. We couldn't quite get the selfie angle right, so Gavin stepped in to take a photo. There you go, mate. Now, the awkward thing for Dad here, if he doesn't like it, he can't really take any more photos because that would show that he doesn't like it. Dad just checking the phone now. He's just uh, scrolling through the couple that Gavin took there. I don't, don't think he's too impressed, to be honest. I'm afraid, people, he's going to have to stick with what he's got. Maybe next time, eh? Anyway, pie number two. It's actually revealed that it's not the steak and owl pie. Disappointing. It's a cheese and onion one. And it's actually filled with lava from a volcano. It's that hot. Come off the hour, come off the man. Or men. It's Gordon and Alan making their way onto the field to replace Waghorn and DaCosta. Did someone say Alan? Alan! 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 Would you believe it? Within the minute, who's he going to fall to? <laughs> Bang! One nil to the Cov. Larry's just joined us. And Alan, Alan, Alan has scored the equaliser. I actually haven't got a clue where Larry came from, but he's definitely happy as Larry. And so we kick off. It's one all. Is momentum actually a thing? We'll find out. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Pie. 16,464 was today's attendance. Plenty of empty seats. Despite that, still a decent atmosphere out there. I'm on the scoreboard a little bit more respectable now. I'm going to put this one up. It's over on Instagram. You can follow me on there if you want. Update on the pie. It's still too hot. Reminds me of a non-league hot chocolate. It's going to be hot for weeks. Bit of a quiet period in the game. Takes us to the 18th minute. It's still all to play for. Half chance for red in here, which goes wide at the post. It would appear Gavin and Sandra have left early. Either the date hasn't worked out or they want to get down the social club even sooner to get their name to the top of the list on karaoke tonight. I'm fairly certain it'll be Mr. Brightside or Wonderwall. On to my Instagram post. A lot of you commented. You want me to put it in the video? There you go. Me and Chaz have had a prediction on the uh, minutes added on in this game. Chaz has gone with four. I've gone with three. Six. Six minutes. Plenty of time for a goal. Where are you going? Lads, where are you going? Six minutes. Oh, well. Their loss. <laughs> Stumbled over the leg room, didn't I? Ended up with Larry. <laughs> Trotting the bloody pie as well, didn't I? That'll cool it down. <laughs> I can't believe they all left. Oh well, we saw it. And that's full time. Come back the other week against Nottingham Forest. They've done it again now against Reading. Don't know what the expectations are this year, but it's a good start to the season. So I'll do my best to clean up the mess I've made. City celebrate with the fans. <laughs> then on the road view, Zach and Ben come to say hello. Is that someone putting a fork in Zach's hood? Yeah, I can confirm someone's put a fork in Zach's hood. Did you just put a fork in Zach's hood? <laughs> Ben's definitely getting the blame for that, but as we make our way out of here, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Oh, well, that's right. As usual, we're going to start things off with atmosphere. They're not going to like me for this. They're really not because I could see, I could tell, I could hear. But it wasn't. It wasn't. It, 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 I'm going four. I can't go any higher than that. It, it wasn't any more than four. Next up, we're talking facilities. We saw Plough Lane last week. We said four stars. It's a brand new ground. This one. It's new old, you know. No gaps. Like a tissue box, as I mentioned. I like those stadiums. Felt like it did lack a little bit of personality. So for me, three and a half stars. Next up, we're talking food and drink. Interesting one. We got a pie, didn't we? Well, the first pie. I'm going to specifically talk about that. The steak and owl pie. There's two pies in this series I remember very well. Maidstone and Sheffield Wednesday. Actually, make it three. The Tottenham Signature Pie as well. Very good. So they're top three. This one, I will remember too. It was, it was very good. Not quite on the level of those three, but very close. We won't talk about the cheese and onion pie that came later on. We'll just focus on the steak and owl. Didn't see any Dr. Pepper available. Uh, food and drink, we're going to go four and a half stars. Finally, we're talking cost. League One last week, we paid £24. Championship this week, we paid £25. Only a pound more, so that's good value. For that, we got to see a last-minute winner in the championship. And four and a half stars, which puts Coventry City on a total of 16 and a half stars. They go top of the league. There's only been two, obviously, in season six. But hopefully, they are happy with that score. So we make our way out of here. The crowd in good spirits, of course. <laughs> We want to be walking down there, but it's fenced off. We've got to walk all the way around now. Feel like a sheep. Crowd control. We do eventually get ahead of the herd and back on track. Let's make our way past the car park. We didn't park him. And up to the motor, which is still here. Lovely. And as we leave, I'm guessing this is the car park on the right we were supposed to park in. Well, to be honest, people, we parked down the dead end. We saved a fiver. I'm quids in. There you go. The two and a half hour journey home has commenced. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like. We're looking for 7,500 likes as the target for this video. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more, maybe check out the On The Road playlist. Plenty in there. And consider subscribing as well. Click that bell to be notified when a new video is out. And yeah, I've been Smith. This has been On The Road and I will see you in the next one. Can't believe the Morrison's pump didn't have mini cheddars.